Happy Friday and good morning. I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Lake here with a look at our full Friday forecast. So we're tracking breezy winds late last night. You can see here this wind advisory was extended by the National Weather Service. This now continues until 8 o'clock in the morning. So we know we have these very gusty winds early on, but we're expecting to see yet another round later on the tonight. This is going to be very impactful because not only do we have a vegetation fire in the area, firefighters haven't gotten containment yet, and we are expecting to see some pretty dry conditions. We have a lot of dry fire fuels and this looks to be a wind driven fire as well. So let's map things out with future track winds. Of course, weather plays a critical role in fire development, fire growth. So of course, winds are really going to be helping with the Gaviota Coast and of course with this fire uh, with this fire growth here. You can see by about 3 p.m. winds looking to be a little bit on the stronger side, but like I mentioned, the entire central coast here definitely seeing those gusty winds by the overnight hours. I think that's when those winds become very impactful. We could be seeing those gusts anywhere upwards of 50 miles an hour or greater. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But as we are heading into these next couple of days here, temperatures are cooling off and onshore flow increases. So I do think we're still going to be a little bit below average. South facing beaches looking to be pretty pleasant, still back up into the 70s here. But as we head on into the next couple of days, we cool below average for a lot of these beach communities further up to the north. We should be seeing a lot more cloud coverage as well and then even interior areas. As far as overnight lows, we're going to be on the cooler side as well. So it's going to be feeling like fall these next couple of days, and a perfect indicator of fall is Friday football. So take a look at your forecast here. Maybe you're headed out to Lompoc. We have the Braves versus the Titans. Kickoff starts at 7 o'clock there. At Lompoc High School, those temperatures looking to be in the 60s. I do think we'll be seeing a little bit more fog and cloud cover development overnight. But as we're heading into the weekend, we're cooling further into our Saturday, warming right back up into our Sunday and Monday. So it is just a little bit of a roller coaster ride of temperatures here. I do think it's still going to be a very pleasant weekend on tap for us. So let's take a look at our Friday. We're starting out the weekend correctly with these beautiful conditions here. Mostly sunny skies here in Santa Barbara. We did have very dense fog develop for these west facing beaches. So Vandenberg, Lompoc, that's why temperatures are going to be well below average. But also keep in mind here some of these inland areas only making it into the 70s and 80s. A very stark difference from those 90s and triple digits we saw just last week and even San Luis Obispo pretty nice there mild into the 70s and overnight lows cooling down into the 50s. So again keep in mind that next wind advisory going into effect overnight practice fire safety as you are heading out the door but get outside and enjoy this weekend. Have a good one.